Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Cold War Iron Curtain Mod Parts of Iron Forum. I'm your host, Mr. French Republic Lover. Mods about March 12th, 1972. And right now, we're increasing pensions. Hurts the consumer goods, gives us more stability, and gives us more, more construction speed. Up next, we're going to create the Comité National, which we lose a lot of stability. And get memories of De Gaulle, daily conservative support for a while. Um, I still haven't done the SMIC just because I really don't want to lose any more consumer goods. And in the meantime, as well, we'll probably do propose new new regionalization reform. Or church or political power. We'll build the Lazark, uh, Larzac military camp, which hurts our stability and political power. And then probably military service reduction to one year with disarm nation, which doesn't make any sense. Reduction to one year with disarm nation, huh? And start the ORTF decentralization, which we lose the daily political power gain, basically. And we lose even more political power for 1,200 days. And authorize the new contraception methods. Uh, get more daily political power. Lose monthly population for well for a while. And then we get Plevin Law, which gives more daily political power, which is actually not bad. That's actually kind of nice. But let's go and choose this one, well, as we do have a couple comments to go through, like normal, like a normal. Supply Grace. What's the other one? Uh, Supply Grace. Thirty-six hours. Seventy-two hours. Multiplier and division training time. Oh well. Advanced survival, evasion, resistance, and escape training. Sounds pretty good to me. Of course, up next, we're going to have some heavy artillery, which is very nice. Uh, empty air, half tracks. Uh, that's a little bit of time. We'll probably choose AMX 13 DCA. Self propelled anti air guns. I'm not sure we're going to actually really use these at all, but you know what? <clears throat> we might as well get her done. Cool. And let's go with this as well. And thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we're just keeping a lot of political power. We're trying to convert some of our power plants that are powered by fossil fuels to. Uh, power plants renewables even though we lose energy overall we do save a little bit on our petrochemicals so we can actually use them instead for at least of our factories and then after commit day let's go talk about a couple of the comments such as can you do a west germany socialist playthrough and reunite their east and also can you please elect the pcf man please i'm just kind of doing whatever's historical here so i mean i don't mind doing a germany run sometime that sounds fun even though there's not a lot going on, but that'd be fun to do. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, eventually, yeah. Germany, what's a pleasure play through? We'll see. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Play Rhodesia and Kaiser Redux next. I've not played as them. That'd be kind of fun. Someone says, I hope you do aggressive America, or bring back the Reich, or bring back, uh, a certain Italy of the fascismus kind. Someone says, France leaving NATO happened because De Gaulle pulled him out for reasons I don't remember. And someone asked, does Free France to Tino have a focus tree? Unfortunately, not yet. And apparently the TGV is French bullet trains. It means high-velocity trains. Oh. Well, this means high-velocity trains over here. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. So we got 11 days left for this. In the meantime, as you can see over here, we're going to declare ourselves a nuclear power. Uh, we did get to this thing over here. Armed nuclear stockpile. We went from unarmed. So right now, our nuclear production should be going up in theory. So we do have that. But our puppets do include Belgium now. I believe we have Belgium with us. Yes, we do. We have Belgium with us. They are led by Blase del Ruin. Ruin. Of course, we still have Denmark. We do have the Greeks. Economic or unity of economic and social policy. Oh, the Turks kind of like us too. I might get the Turks under us as well. He's Mr. Smiley Ismet Inonu. I've heard your name before, huh? And we do have Mal oh assault on Confucian religious sites. They're going a bit too far. That's all right. It's only communism or Maoism, whatever. And of course, we got this this guy over here. Nordin Omar. <clears throat> I did want to get Brazil with us, but unfortunately, somehow we still don't have double their GDP, even though we literally have almost quadruple their GDP, which is kind of weird. But I guess, as I usually say, it is what it is. Well, everybody, it's now 1974. I've been doing the entire focus tree on the left side here. Uh, we've already left NATO, apparently, uh, but we've just been doing a lot of the ar literal army uh, focuses, so there's not really been much here. But as you can see on screen, we have the 1974 French presidential elections, which historically, apparently, were very, 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 very close. And, it was less, and the election was decided by less than half a million votes. But overall, um, I believe that the person that actually won the vote was this guy with four names, or three names, I guess, right here. The CNIP. So, apologies, not the way you, you want us to go, but like, this is just for the historical route, I guess. Is he still part of the... Okay. He looks like a guy who's balding. Valerie Gascard de Estaing. Estaing? Estaing. So, 
And my goal is to go through all this stuff, and then we'll head down here. Well, then, our promised social plan. It's going to take a while to get down there, but in the meantime, uh, I wanted to actually. First of all, the Congo's kind of exploded down here, so the Portuguese Republic is fighting down here. Uh, did I try some divisions down here too? I think I did. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, well, maybe they maybe they refused. Whatever. Regardless, um, I'm trying to influence someone else now. At the time of recording, I can't remember who I was trying to influence. Um. Oh wow, this is disgusting. Um, who's that? Is this Ceylon by itself? Oh, lessons of Algeria, which is good. And we get new land auction as well. Let's do the French Navy. Oh, I remember what we were trying to influence. Um, Thunderstreak, because we can. And then we're going to choose... Super Mystere. Yes. Get some more research, which we did. And now we can do our land auction, which we're only on Grand Battle Plan 2. And get some more defense and organization, because that would be very nice. So yeah, overall, we're, we're doing alright. It's just, like the last episode, I'm just trying to push through as fast as possible, because there's not a lot going on. Greece, do you have any debt? We have the Greeks with us, but we also have... We're really trying to get the uh, the Turks. So we'll see if we can uh, keep the Turks within with us and uh, influence them and puppet them. Which we should be able to, since we have more than well, roughly 10 times or 9 times or 8 times their uh, GDP. But we'll see what happens. As I sent volunteers down to Angola, that doesn't necessarily mean I want them to fight, but we'll at least see what'll happen. Happy 1976 June 1st, everybody, in which I've already gone ahead and done all the military focuses, such as the French Navy, dockyard expansion, and at this point, as you can tell, there's nothing here in terms of descriptions, such as nuclear subdevelopment, not very much, the French Air Force, expand the bomber fleet, the French Air Doctrine, Mirage Jets, I've literally been sitting here for like two hours, just kind of sitting here just doing focuses, and just recording like five minutes in total, which does kind of suck. But other than that, we are finishing up now, finally, with the Announce Our Promise Social Plan. We have about a week left. And in the meantime, since I've last seen you all, which was like a few seconds ago, um, I, we've already gone ahead and puppeted, basically, the Republic of Turkey. They're led by some socialist or some, some guy named Imet Onunu, Inunu? But now they're led by some cool guy named Nuri Demirag. Also, there was a comment saying, like, in Burma, like, I said there was Karen here, or it's Karen, uh, Zaseng. Uh, somewhere around here. Chan. Where the heck did it go? Is India. Gandhi's still here. So, so Gandhi. Uh, you signed up. But heavy lifting robots are nice. Announce their social, promise social plans. Um, so, we don't have a lot left. It looks like this might be it for the focus tree here. Election of 70. Oh. Well, that technically already happened. So, I'm pretty sure it went this way. Uh, if I have these focus. Wait, why do we get this one again? Okay, we got the military again. Again. Uh, okay. I guess maybe we weren't supposed to do the entire focus tree. I don't like that. You're supposed to be able to do the entire focus tree. So we got all stuff here, like like normal. Um, apparently we got to deal with store strikes. <sighs> At some point, French mouse arrested. Like you got to understand, you're French, and uh, you're gonna have a lot of strikes probably. Reduce mil, bro. We are literally on disarmed nation. We literally have no eligible core population available. Holy crap. Conception decree, which is not bad for daily political power. I kind of like that. And ban extreme leagues. You get more political power. You get less recruit population and less stability, but better resistance growth spread. And then Trenta Gloriosi's end? Combat inflation. Reduce unemployment. So this part might be clutch. Should we take go with the conservative route, which is the more historical one? The UDF. Oh, oh maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, withdraw from NATO. Well, we did basically withdraw from NATO, so we're doing the French military for now. Uh, what else we got around here? Mm. Oh, what do we got? We got one of these. Stereo selective synthesis. Uh, anything else here? No. Industry. Oh, power plant construction speed is not bad. Um, let's go look at this as well. At least we got a new focus tree, and I'm going to assume this is probably the last part of the focus tree for France. I just can't imagine there's much more here. In general, there's not really a whole ton. Also, I had to do restart just because, well, reloaded my game just because, uh, made some slight mistake, I think. Yeah, I went to the next part of the focus tree without showing you guys what we were doing. We're still doing, just doing a lot of renewable stuff, nothing for military stuff. There's not too many wars that have broken out, so, other than that, we'll continue influencing... Oh, I thought that was actually what 
Is someone fighting down here? Who's fighting? The games... Oh, the 21st Olympia. That's kind of nice. That thing's still firing, which sucks. Uh, current wars. World War Three. Portuguese Congo War. And occasionally the Algerian War. Other than that... Wow. America's lost quite a few guys, have they not? They've lost quite a few guys, but like I said, we're the French military. We'll do with the store strikes. We'll do with the US Maoists. Extend Lazar Lazark camps. Reduce military service, as well as contraception decree. And there we have it, my friends. We've just a wrench... A wrenched? Arrested? French Maoists. Under the order of Valerie Gascard de Estang. Maoist seers have been arrested and Maoist groups from France are being dismantled. Right now, French police and military are scouring the country, hunting down fugitive Maoists and cracking down on their organizations. Off to prison with you all. In which we've done all these. Now we're going to go and extend the Larzac camp and probably after that. We're probably going to ban some, a few extreme leagues, and then probably do Trenta Glorious Suicides and well, would you look at that, suicide pills. But no, Lazar camp extended. The extension of the Lazar military camp is now underway, but has been met with fierce local resistance. Locals are staunchly opposed to the extension of the camp and begin occupying land purchased by the military and for the extension. This behavior is unacceptable. The end of Trenta's Gloriosis. In 1944, Charles de Gaulle introduced an economic policy known as the Dergista. The Dergista was effectively a state direction of a capitalist economy and resulted in a vast period of rapid economic growth and the prosperity of the country. After 30 years, the period has come to an end and the French economic growth is nominalized. Or nominalized. What a grand 30 years. So, um, a create new region. I thought it was a create new religion. Not quite. Um... That's not going to be bad. Pompidou Giscard Law. Then we have the Royer Law, which... Um, it gives and takes. It definitely gives and takes. We have the Creighton Region, like you said. A legislative election. Uh, De Gaulle Airport, as well as Montparnasse Tower. And I'll probably do feel more like combat inflation. Maybe we'll do unemployment. In all honesty, though, I'm probably going to just probably use consequence for this, because this already passed, and I think this is the way we need to go. But I think that's pretty much going to be for today, just because... Uh, well, we might as well end it there, because I don't have any more time for today. And, oh, we're pro-union now. Oh, when did that change? Regardless, uh, next episode will probably be the last one. I'm not sure how long it's really going to be. And this one's obviously not very long as well, but it is what it is. But if you enjoyed the shortest video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll, tomorrow, I'll see you when we will hopefully have fully influenced and puppeted the United Arab Republic. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great French rest of your day.